So if you see your key, okay, everything, every steps, okay, this is like your card details or collect customer details or review. <coughs> so they are in the background, they are a flow, okay, in the, a process. So every step, you want to say that, that can be a So everything, if you are seeing your states, okay, so that is the thing you can say that are a specific process, okay. So if you, here, you have, uh, <coughs> click on to that, you have an option of called as open processes, okay. So if you click on to that, it will open the actual flow, actually which is happening. So we have four states into that one, okay. So it will create you with a uh, start and end and then there will be four flows, saves will be there. So we are going to see what you mean by all other saves into the flow. Okay. So the flow play actually important role actually in the case management. So everything actually like if you can see are part of your flow. Okay. So if you see So if you see, you are starting with uh, a starter save, okay, that is in the green color, okay. Then you have a end saves and in every flow, you cannot have multiple start saves. It can have one start save and multiple end saves. Depend on, no, multiple end saves can be possible. Depend on the condition, if you want to end it here, after this state. So you can, so it will be starting only one, actually, within a flow, it should be started only one place, right? Sorry? So that will be a separate flow. That will be a separate flow. If you are using for uh, like parallel processing, so that flow is sub separate, not with this say. So this is actually a simple process, okay? So in the flow, you have multiple uh, saves, okay? So if there are in each save, there are some properties you can map to that. So if you click onto the starter save, it will open the form for that, okay. The properties windows for start. You can give the name, any name, so that in place of start, it will give you the shape of that name. So actually I say that this is collect detail, okay. So the name will be displayed into the start save, okay. So there is no more uh, onto that. Actually you want to set the status, you can set a work status before itself. So work status is uh, in Pega, there are many four type of work status, new, open, pending and uh, resolve, okay. So with that, you can have a combination of that also, like pending, uh, interview, okay, resolve, completed, resolve, rejected, resolve, cancel, like that you can have multiple combination will be there onto that. And open also, open, confirm, open, hold, okay, you can have multiple with that, but all the status should be with the uh, with this uh, prefix new open pending and resolve okay so if you say the name is now changed to collect details okay and there are some other saves in actually in uh, this one so if you say assignments so actually if you want to show any assignments or anything you want to do that so this is actually the main save which is used in pega okay this also done by no, this is done by actually like they will create the prototype and once it like they've done that, like if you want to make any changes, you have to do that one. Yes. So now you can see assignment save. Okay, so they like these three hours assignment saves. Okay. And you want to include any decision, you can bring a decision saves into this one. So decision is like if you want to check something. Okay, you want to check and based on that, you want to do next processing, right? So then you, the, your decision logic will come into the picture, okay? So in this, I click, click onto the form of it, okay? So if you see, you have multiple options, decision table, decision tree, for boolean expression, map value, and these two are predictive model and scorecard model is part of decision management. So that is newly introduced with Pega 7. So, Based on that, the logic can be like it will be branched out with many versions, like all the result condition 
and then we can make the flow our changes into that we can make onto the decision save okay yes that will be like not actually like uh, in uh, your case diagram it will not there but actually this is actually your flow which is running in the background if you have uh, next thing is your sub flow okay if you want to create you want to invoke one more flow from this one so there you can use a sub process okay if you see this is actually a sub process so we are we are calling it another flow within it so if you say you have the name of tab screen flow so if you open that one it will give you one more flow here so this is actually you can say this is a screen flow okay. one more flow from that or you want to create a new uh, like you want to import so you can have create one more screen flow from that okay so if you come back and you can see you have more options so utility is uh, you have one more say that you want to route it to someone person you want to uh, notify someone okay so this is actually utility you can invoke a yes you want to do some specific task you want to attach a note you want to attach a email you want to attach pdf so whatever the things you want to do using that utility say you can run an activity so that activity will be like con containing the like the logic you want to execute for that utility say okay and then there are some smart saves and advanced saves okay smart saves actually you can see this is actually like uh, what it did it using this you can easily invoke the same function okay in place of activity you can directly use this saves okay if you say you want to attach a contain right directly you can use this feature yeah now it's actually started with pega 7 only before that there was no smart save so with pega 7 only they started the smart save so if you want to create a pdf so your complete section will be getting converted into a an email like in a pdf and then you can send it as a email using that uh, send email save okay so the pdf will be sent to the person you have actually like uh, persist case to update the case you want to create a new case yes this will only convert it into the pdf okay and in send email it will be sending that the converted pdf to another party yeah in that scenario you have to use both like if you say somewhere you have document repository you don't want to send the mail you want to store that pdf into some document repository then you have to use create pdf and you have to use a connector to send it to integration so you can use a send mail itself directly you can send any text you can create in the send mail you can write anything you want to send mail then you can use directly send mail only for that one so there are actually a lot of options to that there and for uh, approvals actually for reject or you want to approve the reject or so want to that yeah there actually is an option whom you want to assign that so there in the approval you will get that whom you want to like uh, the person route it to that so you can route your case to that person okay so actually if you see duplicate search that actually i have given you example like uh, for you are working on a uh, candidate case okay and you got the same profile for four different job agency okay so you have created four cases now and then the three should be rejected on that that one for the same role they have sent that one so you need to implement duplicate search in that scenario okay and then there is concept of you called as advanced saves okay advanced saves are actually we talk about that in later class so actually this is uh if you have which like multiple cases for the same thing the complex scenario we go for this part so split for each split join okay and integrator which it wants to say like if you say that like uh, i told right uh once you have created the pdf and you want to do deposit that into a separate plane so there you have to use this integrator so that will be going to integrate with other systems 
okay this assignment service is uh, if you want to assign externally okay so she said actually i am here okay and i want to assign that to a someone person who is not in my company who is actually a third party so actually let's say you want credit score if you doing a loan application you want credit score and you want to assign that service to them so they will get the credit score for that person so that time you can go for that one and the simlane is another uh, part of it there which we can use simlane so that thing is like very advanced concept so that if we are not cover into the this course so that will be uh, very advanced it is not needed at the moment okay and wait saves actually like if you have see actually you have assigned to externally so you wait once before you have received the response from him you need to wait for some time so there you can put a wait save so that your case will be wait for that time not sla actually like it's uh, see uh, like you have assigned to someone externally right whenever he will response back then your case should progress then you will have to put a wait save on that you are waiting for the status should be that like someone has responded then you will progress your case after that one. so you need to use a wait save there okay so there are various saves related to that and then we have a connector so connector play a important role okay so if you see with the connector you can see here we have a name as card details okay so the card detail is nothing but a flow action okay so we have flow and then we have a flow action okay so this is the name of your flow action okay card details so what exactly the like card details will do is it is taking care of what ui want you want to display to the user what validation you want to put show to the particularly on that form okay and what you want to do before displaying that to that and after displaying actually after submit what you want to do to that one so pre processing and post processing so everything will be covered by that flow action okay so if you see a normal flow action so first time it will give you that like which context flow process yeah the flow action we decide that which ui you want to display using a section name okay so if you see this one in the layout you give that which section you are going to use that one get cards okay and what is the context of that uh, your section okay so if you can have use the current context you have a database or you want to use a clipboard page or use pages onto the define on the property you can set that using define the section okay then you have uh, if you are using any parameters you can give that in the section the parameters and then you can see that what are the display into that section so there is actually the flow using the flow action and which section it will be displayed into that one okay so this action will be getting displayed to the user so what are the things actually we have the flow action that i told it will do the validation so it will be the complete form all the properties which is present into your uh, system it will validate all the properties using a validate rule okay sorry no actually we will discuss that one later okay so now actually an accent tab we decide that what is the pre processing and post processing required for that so if you see that what you want to do in the pre processing before displaying to the user what you want to do you want to run a data transform or you want to run an activity you can do that and then post processing actually after submit button by the user what you want to do so there if you go for post processing okay so there actually if you multiple options so if you want to set up some help for users actually like, like uh, how you will perform that particular uh, that section like the ui what you will choose and everything you want to set up that you can do the help setup instruction okay in accent tab okay yes So if you see onto the security tab, you can see here like the privilege you should have access to this class. 
okay so there is like mention that in the privileges class okay and in the html section there is we have option of you want to enable client side validation or not so there it will like give you the javascript it will send back that javascript with the uh, to as a cookie and in the run time the validation will be happen in the client side itself okay so this is that we are going to discuss in uh, like when we do the validation part we will discuss further on to that one yeah this is the class actually where your flow action is exist you should have access to that one the user have actually who is actually like running that one that access group should have access to this class after that only he will able to run that one the access and the ticket captain a pega itself most of the time it will take care of the pega for specific things there are actually some other rules if you want to modify delete or anything you want to use a specific tool there is a uh, access manager in pega okay that is clearly covered in the security part okay so now we discuss about uh, different type of flows okay so flows are like mainly we have multiple flows type as we call it as starter flow okay then we have a straight through processing okay straight through processing starter flow process flow and <coughs> uh stream flow okay so we have discussed the four flows right starter flow straight through processing stream flow and normal process flow so what the difference between starter flow so starter flow are something that which will create the work object so the first process actually when we start that one where you create the work object so if you see you have open any rule okay if you, this is a flow right so if you go to your uh, process tab of it so if you see here in this i click create a new work object okay document as a starting process so that is really like say that how you want to create like if it is a mongo it, it can create a new work object then it becomes a starter flow so that will be the first flow in your case okay that will create a new work object or new assignment or new task for you okay so if you actually like that open right uh, at the previous status case so in that you can see you see actually we have open that uh, the first flow previous start case and actually there you can see that it is mounted create a new work object so this is the starter flow okay and then whatever the things we have seen here uh, collect details okay so this is actually like not this is a normal process flow okay it's not normal process that is starter yes that's right so that is the only difference only difference is that one you within the status flow and process flow okay so and flow then will be the same right yes flow will be remain same only thing is the difference between the starter flow and process flow is that uh, starter flow can create a new work object and other flow process flow cannot create a work object okay so okay. Object, like you are invoking a new task within your flow so in everything in pega actually like relate with a work object okay so you are creating a task so that will be a uh, reference will be there so that is called as work object so the the flow which can invoke it create a new work object that will be a starter flow so it's a uh, uh, real time experience now actually like straight through processing straight through processing is no malware intervention everything can be like uh, go smoothly like you don't need no like completely automated yeah. okay it will complete one step second step will complete third step so ultimately like from uh, you have a file okay you are doing step by step process execution and everything is finished without any manual intervention then we call as straight through processing okay and the final is your screen flow okay so screen flow is if you have something like uh, you want to get multiple screens okay you want to get the feedback or you want to get the details for a same thing like if for you say you are a, like hiring a candidate so you want his personal detail you want his uh, uh, educational detail his work history 
if there is a gap in education is there is a gap in uh, your work history so you will get five different screens to get that all details so you can create a screen flow for that because that all the things need to be done in a single instance you don't need any other person help to do that part right so that all the five assignments can be done in a screen flow in a single uh, not single page like one screen after one another okay it will convert back to the name uh, process flow okay so in this like so that's the main difference between your screen flow starter flow straight through processing and other part okay so one more thing uh, we'll okay we'll go back to here okay so so if you see in the screen saves okay you have multiple options i feel like you want to create a screen flow as a normal flow as like normal like uh, uh, perform standard flow or you want to give that as a tree like structure or you want to give that as a tab structure so that actually we decide that into a start save only so it will ask you in the harness tab which type of screen flow you want to create so if you, for this actually we have created a tab like structure okay so if you, uh, we can click on to the submit of that and we can see how it looks like screen flow okay okay so if you go and go to the case manager okay we have started the screen flow we have given the first save so we are getting that into a tab structure so if you see in the top you can have the tab so if you can say contact detail you have the shipping address okay address then if you want the shipping instructions okay so it's coming into the billing information tab and then finally you have user preference so you can this is like like you have now user preference into that once it will finish that it will go back to the normal flow okay so now actually we don't want now actually we have seen the tab structure we want to change that to tree structure now so we click on to the start save yeah one more thing actually just want to show you uh the routing okay and that other things actually says present into the start save itself okay yes actually like uh, your routing information you can display for uh screen flow into here it's uh, and there are two more things you can say save on last day and allow errors right so actually like, uh, what does this mean that when you will finish it only on that time it will save the details in the database if you are in between of anything it will not save that one so you have to finish the complete screen flow only that scenario it will take all the database and actually like it's allow errors means uh, actually like in the screen flow the customer did not provide all the details then actually like you say that like if it is with the error also it will allow you can save that one in during will finish of that so that two option we can give it into in the start save only of the screen flow so now we want to display any uh, yes so we have to go for free navigation 7 okay so now actually if you can see submit that okay and then we will go back to again to our system okay so we need to create a one more uh, case for that so either you can go for a new page or you can create a new item onto that okay so once you click on to that you can see the preview structure so now you can see is looking into the preview structure now okay so this is actually we call the tree structure okay tree navigation so if you see back so there is like this is the no other the final one perform screen flow and click on submit and save it wait for till save now you can see we have changed it to perform screen flow right 
so here you can see now like it's showing in your normal uh, your uh, screens right next you need to click next okay right so actually you cannot go uh, that one so you need to click before going back so see if you say back and next so one screen to next screen it will be in the normal screen flow it will go into that one previous next so if you see in the last so is in the below also you can see contact here contact details shipping address once you actually finish that only then you can see that screen and before that you will not there you are able to see all the tabs together okay so if you see shipping instruction so this is normal screen flow in the next there will be an option of finish of that okay so there you can next means it will be move to the next one is within the flow so it will complete the screen flow and move to the next so this is the normal screen flow okay